eight ball, corner pocket. That's it. You know, I'm getting a drink. Hey, if you would, would you give me whatever dark beer they got on tap? Okay. I'll just take it off your poker tab. <laughs> oh, funny guy. Hey, man. I'll have a uh, double scotch and the darkest beer you got on draft. Okay. I thought you said you were getting a beer. No. Oh, Side was a scotch night tonight. Ah, okay. One of those. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll break again. Okay. How, uh, how about we make this game a little interesting? Coffee, Mr. Moore? No, thank you. Let's get right to it then. What do you want to know? Well, that's up to you. Suppose you just tell me what you think is relevant. Okay. I guess going back two years ought to do it. Fuck you want. Victor? Who's asking? Pizza. Oh, right, right. Come on in. You waiting for a goddamn red carpet? Something to drink? No. Thank you. So Pete tells me you want to put some money on the black box? Right. So how much are you looking to bet? Grand. Big spender. Well, I think it's a sure thing. What do you think? I think it's your money and you can bet how you choose. Well, I don't like getting fucked over. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. If you get fucked over by a bet, all you lose is money. I would worry more about avoiding people on the other side. Meaning? Let's just say that everybody on my side always ends up on top. You don't want to place a thousand? You bet your ass. Yeah, you know I played the lottery. Friendly bets between friends, Texas Hold'em tournaments. You know, the whole shindig. That was the first time I ever done anything like that. You know, the feeling... <sighs> was amazing. But... Over the next eight months, it got progressively worse. At the same time, my brother Mark was making a name for himself in the Chicago boxing scene. Which caused him to make an impression on Pete. Awaiting additional instructions, Private. Sweetheart, could you give us a minute? Mark, this is my daughter, Catherine. I appreciate you showing up. I've been uh, following your boxing. 
You're making quite the name for yourself. Yeah, I suppose so. How would you feel about making some real money? How's that? Next Saturday night. I want you to throw your fight in the third round. Nope. You haven't even heard my whole offer yet. Well, it better be one handsome offer. How does 2,000 sound? You're joking, right? <laughs> All right. How about an additional two? You know, not many boxers, pro or otherwise, have quite the record like me. Six, and that's my final offer. Before you take this, I want to make sure that we're both on the same page. This isn't a loan between friends. If you take this money, your ass goes down. Okay. No fucking around. We're cool. Morning, sunshine. Where are we? Missouri. What? I bet three grand on you to lose last night. Why the fuck would you do that? Think about it. The odds are in your favor. I've been on a winning streak lately, so... I had someone else bet on you. So... He paid me for nothing. Yes. Okay, well, he's not gonna be that mad. Or something you don't know about Pete. What? You know how Pete's into fixing matches, games, and stuff? Yeah. Well, he's got this thing about people using knowledge about his dealings, you know, for personal gain. Okay, maybe he won't notice. How much did you make? 10,000. Jesus. Mark, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry! You have a gambling problem. Fuck you! I mean, think about how much money we have now. You broke his one cardinal rule. And then we ran? Shit. He's gonna find us. And you know. You know there's no way he's not gonna think I, I was gonna I don't think this. he's gonna find us, alright? But that is why I brought you. Man, fuck that. And his actual cardinal rule has to do with his daughter, by the way. So why here? I mean, I felt that is a safe distance, you know? Not too far, not too close. And? So, 
How are you? How the hell did you find us? I have my ways. <laughs> Pete, I'm sorry, man. Like, I, I have illness, okay? Like, well, I, I, relax. I, I, I just... I'm talking about Mark. Okay. He fucked Catherine. I've done a good job of keeping her out of my business thus far, and I'll be damned if I let some dumbass jock change that. Listen, you both owe me a lot, but Mark owes me so much more. This is how you're going to absolve your debt. Okay, so why didn't you come to us? And say what? Oh, excuse me, officer. I'm supposed to kill my brother because some gangster I fucked over told me to. Please arrest me. Well, you're here now. I did what I had to do. I have a bloody nose. For the and, fight? Yeah. <laughs> and, and so I was like, I looked and I was like, uh, I didn't, like, how do you tell a girl that? Like, what are you saying? And so I stood. Two weeks from tonight, take Mark out on the town. Have a few drinks, shoot some pool. Do whatever it takes to make him relax. I just ran out. <laughs> he ran? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, hold on a second. You know, I never meant to get you mixed in all this. Yeah, I guess so. Very, very bad. I know. However, if you are willing to testify against Pete, maybe things won't go so bad for you. Wanna bet? <laughs> 